a lot. Play fast. I'm Connor from Coco Coaching, and I'm here to help you improve your sailing skills to help you become a better sailor. Whether it be tactics, boat handling, boat speed, or anything really about sailboat racing, I've got over a decade of elite level coaching experience, and I'm here to share all the latest tips, tricks, and coaching advice with you. Now let's get right into it. Hola todos, this week we're talking about sail ties, but not just anything about them. We're going to specifically walk you through how to loop and tie them around your mast in a certain way so that your sail doesn't pinch up against the mast when you go up or down wind, helping you go faster around the race course. Hopefully you're adjusting your sprit throughout the race, whether it be upwind, downwind, reaching, or just to make the shape of your sail more efficient and faster. But have you ever gotten your luff caught while you're doing it? That's what we're here today to talk about. So what happens to our sail as we take on and put off sprit? Well, the sail actually raises and lowers as we're putting on the sprit or taking it off. But as your sail raises and lowers, it could catch the sail tie, pinning it into the mast, and distorting the luff shape on your sail. Obviously, this isn't good for your speed. So, why don't we just go once around the mast instead of twice? Well, we'll talk more about why that is in another video. But, for now, all you need to know is that to maximize power output and minimize stretch in your sail, you need to go twice around the mast with every sail tie around your mast, except your diagonal. But, as we saw before, if we put them twice around, they'll just seize up around the mast. Well, as you guessed it, pro tip number 34 solves just that. Time to twist them up. The answer is quite simple and elegant. If we just take the tie and we fold it over, we can actually get away with the sail tie not crossing over whatsoever as we go twice around the mast. So again, take the sail tie, fold it once over, poke that loop through the sail tie grommet, run it around the mast, and take one of those ends and poke it through that loop. Then, simply tie your reef knot, size it properly, and you should be good. like this video and want to see more like it, feel free to chuck a thumbs up, slam tack into that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell down below so that you don't miss a beat in your sailing. Hola amigos! We're going to have awesome videos just like this one coming out on at least a weekly basis, so don't miss out on your chance to learn. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or want to learn something specific about your youth or junior class, and we'll be sure to get to it ASAP. As always, don't forget to sail fast and send it.